club is a group of students and some faculty members that work together to perform different uh, tasks for the community and the school. So like we've been helping out because Cedar Rapids had a big flood in 2008. We've been helping out fix up houses, clean out houses, paint houses, and things like that. Um, it started back about six years ago, well not quite six years ago, but it was after the flood in Katrina. And we decided to take a group of students down to Mississippi and help clean up after Hurricane Katrina happened down there. So the purpose of the service club would be to try to help make things better for people by providing services for people that need help. Right now we just finished up a day where we were painting houses that were getting fixed up from the flood. We were cleaning out, this is two years later, some houses hadn't even been mucked out is what they call it, which means cleaning out the broken uh, plaster and knocking down some of the plaster and throwing it in, into a big dumpster. It's very messy, very dirty, very dusty work. We had to wear face masks and stuff like that. Um, we've also uh, served meals to uh, people that can't afford meals at Green Square Meals. We've helped out at Waypoint, which is a, um, a shelter for victims of domestic violence. We've helped out there. and. Uh, in general, you know, we, we try to help out where we can. Um, I think that the service club is good for students because it gives them a chance to feel good about volunteering and to recognize that they really can make a difference. What they do matters. What just one person wanting to help out can really make a lot of difference. And it, what the kids are learning at a young age is they can make a difference. They can get things organized, like a lot of them are getting things organized. So I have them, okay, you plan it, you organize it, and then we'll do it. And so that way they actually learn that they can make a difference themselves and hopefully learn that throughout the rest of their lives they can help other people. Took a chance, I took a shot, and you might think I'm bulletproof, but I'm not. You took a swing. In Family Consumer Sciences Department, one of the classes is called Parenting the Preschool Child. Um, as one assignment, students get to take home a baby sink it over doll. It's made by the Reality Works Company, and it's to simulate taking care of a real baby. Um, Tifa was not in this class, but she did take home voluntarily a baby for a weekend just to see how it worked. Um, the benefit of taking the Parenting the Preschool Child class, students will get to work in a preschool with children. Um, students will think about where, when they would like to have children. Maybe most will think taking the baby home is um, hard and that they would like to delay having a baby so maybe they've completed high school, maybe they've completed college. Um, at least it will get students to think about when they would like to have their baby. First, so the baby, we take care of it like you can choose a weekend or just a day and you have to take care of it like it's a real baby, like you have to burp it and feed it and drink or and burp burp it, rock it and drink it. And you have to get up at crazy hours and it's like a real kid almost, except for the fact that it's plastic. <laughs> and um it just really taught us a lot. Um the class was really interesting at first. It was just about like sex and babies and don't do this and don't do that and then later on as you get further into the class um, you learn more about parenting which is 
a good thing. Um, you learn all sorts of things, things you don't want to do when you first have a baby, things to help you get through when you first have a baby. And it just really teaches you a lot on how to be a mother. And it's a good class if you plan on being a mother or a mother of many kids or a teacher. Okay, well, job shadowing is an opportunity that's available to juniors and seniors. Um, when juniors and seniors are trying to make some decisions about where they want to go with their educational careers and what kinds of occupational careers they want to pursue, um, we encourage them to, to sign up for a job shadow and go out for a one-day experience where they are uh, meeting with, talking with, observing, following around a person who's working in an occupation that they're interested in. So the way that we go about that is we, um, we invite any junior or senior to fill out a very brief application and ask them to tell their first, second, and third choices for where they'd like to job shadow. And then um, that paperwork is all funneled through our building, but it's uh, uh, another office that sets up all the job shadowing experiences. It's called the Workplace Learning Connection. And they set that up for all the schools um, in our area. So it's not just our high school, but all of them. It's quite a big task that they undertake and they do a really nice job with that. Uh, so they get the paperwork and they um, place everyone. And, um, and the, um, the job shadowing experience then can be anywhere from two hours to a full day experience. It just depends on um, what occupation it is. Some um, job shadowing um, positions have confidentiality issues, for example, um, maybe a psychologist, well, you're not really going to sit in on a counseling session because that wouldn't be appropriate to hear somebody else's um, issues. And so um, you might meet with that counselor. Maybe they'll, they'll talk with you and they might show you um, around the physical work layout they have. Um, and then others are um, are, you know, like with a police officer, you could ride along all day in a police car with a police officer, for example. So, so it just depends. And they're never more than a day long. And, um, and then after the job shadow experience, the students are asked to write a thank you note and a reflection sheet. And if a student successfully completes one job shadow, they can sign up for a second one. So theoretically, a student could job shadow four times. Uh, twice in their junior year, twice in their senior year. Um, the benefit to students is uh, that they can uh, actually learn more about the job than just reading about it or watching a video. They can actually have their own questions answered when they're, when they're meeting with the job shadow host. And a lot of times what happens is Students go on a job shadow and they come back and they say, oh, I didn't know it was that. I don't, I don't think I want to do that. Well, that is really valuable information to have because uh, you don't want to go off and spend $80,000 at college and then find out that you don't like doing that kind of work. That's pretty expensive career education. So it's good, if, it's good it helps the students start to narrow down what they want to do. And so maybe that isn't exactly what they wanted to do, but there were parts of it they liked. And so, you know, what's another similar occupation maybe they can look into and pursue that.